Hello and good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Tooth and Tail. It has been a very, very long time since I've played this game and I just noticed that in the actress there's a cinematic and this is something I completely missed. I think this was supposed to start before where I started the campaign. We won't work the farms, no. We won't so, yeah. eat the food of beasts. This is amazing. We'll pretty much I'm so we glad I ended up not missing this because this is a really good animation. Possibly simple, but very interesting. And good. Well, arted and drawn. My boy, we took oh. to the warriors and lit the country aflame. Who okay. decides the fate of animals? The long coats, the common folk, the KSR, or the civilized? Don't think you like the civilized. We'll go hungry no more. Those who fall will be dinner. You see, that's ironic. Oh, can okay, never mind. Actually, I could. Sort of, I was gonna say like it's kind of ironic how I was saying like he's going to war for eating his own son, but yet then you are eating whoever you beat, which is like you're kind of contradicting yourself in a way. But, oh well, yeah, back to the story mode. Let's continue to the civilized, yes, where we are all super citizens of peace and prosperity. Yes. Which is questionable because it was like peace and prosperity. <laughs> like some like weird Hannibal Lecter thing there, like, okay, strange. But yes, let us see. You take me back to the uh, civil, uh, the other people, blah, blah, blah. Oh, hang on. Is that a Mitchell? Yes, we have a Mitchell over here. Very good. <laughs> great mission. Great missionary. The light hisses its descent. The feast beckons me to be my fate. Hmm. <laughs> the light cleanses us. Why not me? Why is my light? Hmm. My child. You need not let this day. Your forebears sacrifices themselves so you might elude it. Five long harvests ago, the long coats suit to douse the light of the civilized. I'm giving him a very civilized point because these are civilized people after all. The brevin carry that very light within the dust, uh, with them, them, as they screamed into the bottom pits, heroes, all of them. One by one, the mine, morning light cracks gave themselves to it so we may let feast. Both civilized and long coats, well, that day, but in death, old meat is made equal, so we took it for ourselves. So this is basically explaining that first little cutscene we just saw then. But, oh yes, some of it we used to bring more croakers into our battle, but most we spirited safely out of the city. We would be exiled that day, forcing to reflect in the sands of Solemn. Hmm, exiled, I say, but not be beaten. In truth, as we retreated from the battlefield, the civilized were more powerful than anyone imagined. Interesting. And we get to try out these little croakers. The suicidal bombers. True believers sorry. <clears throat> True believers of the morning light, croakers often appear to regret their religion devotions just before fuse hit powder. Hmm, that's kind of sadly I you're sad. <laughs> Jesus. And yes, and then the same old, same old. And for being so civilized, using such a barbaric as the AFB's poisonous gases is very admirable. Let's see. Hmm. Kill enemies to earn food. And the heroic one is light all of the campfires as well. Hmm. And also to just survive. Rules to kill enemies to earn food. Huh. Fascinating. So I have a feeling the volunteers and these the the glomerous AFB would be very helpful because 
just getting the suicidal bombers will be helpful at the start, but not useful. But we'll probably have units to spawn later. And I'm also procrastinating way too much because we're six minutes into it. Holy moly, hello. Let's go then. We need to move around then. Let's go, man. So I need to light these camps. Over here, man. Sweet. Now let's keep on moving. Aha. First. Campfire lit. Let's just defend this spot. And one over here as well, because that turret will help defend this. Let's defend this spot right here. To me, people! To me! We need some mines. Yes, and let's see. This seems like a okay defending spot. Yes, and let's get some devotee, some recruits, and mine up the back area. Over here, brothers! Next one, we just uh, graciously rebuild for our wondrous ways. Now, where is that camp? Over here, men. Destroy this in person. This foolish man thinks they can destroy our stuff. Ah, silly people. They light a camp that is rightfully ours. How dare they. Beat this person to a pulp. Silly, silly people. They try and destroy our camps? No! Over here! We need more of these recruits. Ah, foolish. Hmm, this poison is not very effective. We need more suicide bombers. Over here. We must destroy this camp immediately. Destroy it. Hmm. Over here. Hmm. Highly awkward. Put some mines down, just to slow them down slightly. Holy moly, they destroyed our base quite far here. This is not good at all. Let's just sell this. And there. Yeah, we don't need this. Because we need some space to put these guys down here. We do only just need to survive, but we need to... Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, uh, that was dumb. Just mines everywhere! You can never have too many mines. Oh wait, yeah, they're destroying them. So maybe I am having too many mines. Oh god. This is crazy. More suicide bombers! And we failed. All of these missions are crazily hard. Okay, so... I need to think. I seem to always fail this first mission, but I need to think a little bit harder. Go, so I think... Ah, okay, let's see. How do I get out of here? Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Over here. Come, my brothers. Go, be free, my minions of awesomeness. I think I'm going to need a lot of these suicidal bombers. Because the more I kill, the more we can get out of this place. Hmm. Highly awkward. Don't tell me that they're able just to hit up on this. More of these than Merriam. Destroy this place. Destroy all of these little places. We need all these stations to be built up. 
Good and proper. Destroy this silly person who tries to dare to destroy our area. Any bases over here which needs to be destroyed? Why is this guy not being destroyed? Surround this dude. Destroy him. Hmm. You don't want to destroy him? How foolish. Over here then, lads. Defeat this foolish man. Complete utter overkill. Can you beat this person, please? Fine. This way we go. Ah, here you are. Destroy this place. Ravage it immediately. Over here now. <laughs> Any more over here? There's probably one over here somewhere. No. Well, I need to head back. I forget which button is. Uh, yeah, there was it. I need this one. Over here, man. There's a big old horde over here. Come like a flame. Come like a spreading virus. Destroy everything in sight. <laughs> Over here must be loads. Ah, oh, yes, you're correct. There's loads. <laughs> All the way through. Keep on marching, man. <laughs> it's never ending. We never end. The Legion, the Horde. <laughs> Over here, my minions. All of you, so many in numbers. <laughs> hey, sorry, I'm not being very civilized, am I? There's going to be one over here somewhere. I thought so. Over here, destroy this one. You think you can beat us with your numbers? <laughs> yep, that's enough. Over here, men. We must destroy all the others down here. This is highly amusing. <laughs> Over here, men. Come along now. We have duty to call. Might as well destroy this one. Boom, boom, boom. All of you. <laughs> All aboard the explosion train. One more, a few more down here. Let's keep her going. Foolish people. Oh, I'm so silly. I've missed, ne neglected this area up here. But come my never-ending swarm of explosions. <laughs> it's amusing. I could build a maximum of 30, but I only have a minimum of like 20. Perfect. Perfect. Let's try and rebuild all these campsites. This is getting pretty awkward now. I only need to survive for 20 seconds, but oh well. And there's actually quite a lot of them this time. I don't know how they've all of a sudden got so many again. But oh well, 10 seconds, I've survived this. Easy peasy. Not a heroic victory, but meh. Oh well. This will be the moment all of a sudden there's a massive just nuke and everyone's like, nope. No victory. Because <sighs> I think these poison gas people aren't so great. Hmm, <laughs> peace and prosperity. Excellent. Now there must be one more mission somewhere around here, hmm? Where is it? I know you're here somewhere. Ah, they've opened the gates for me. Perfect. Interesting. Oh my. Big old stag king dude. Hmm. Yeah, 
I can sort of see the problem here. That we just end up feasting too much and everyone's just crazily peaceful. Sir Great Monastery, sir. When we meet, my child, if I may ask, what convinces you to leave Quartermaster's side? I am a soldier, as you know. Soldiers pick a side and fight to win. But I was brutal. Burris, Burris Krat first. Burris Kratz, uh, pick a winner and fight for them. So when I heard the guards have their feasts and the least of the swine, I know the winner when I see them. <laughs> <laughs> little lizard playing little trumpet as well. <laughs> so amusing. But yeah, it's certainly awkward. These guys are all superly feasting. You look well collected. Are you satisfied with what the civilized have to offer? Mm. I have not imagined that there could be the such plenty less the world now this do the civilized convince other factions to join the sun. We do not survive anyone about service. Given enough time, all come to see the light as superior. The long coats they see history in terms of upward linear progress, but nothing has seemed without fooling to there when it begins. The common folk struggle to ascend, but all of these, well, they know a fool awaits them in the end. And the chaos are fight to fix the world, whatever that's supposed to mean, in place, but does not even time, then the might, mighty are seen, ebb, uh, ebb, and swell with time. We civilized see the history as the circle in the time of plenty of, man these guys will talk way too much, <laughs> recede in time of great need we feast. Do you remember when I found you in the sands of Salo, Salawa? Yes, missionary. As the sun storms gathered, the natives were driven wild with hunger and thirst. As we all, but we owed light the bones of the fallen, and upon their wallow did our armies grow. We know if we need w wishes to return for exile, we would need to turn our desperation into power, and so we did. Oh, and a random other one. Hmm, Terramine. So we literally have two people, and a random other one as well. Or a question mark, so we're not certain what this is. Interesting. And yes, yeah, so water heals, uh, food over 200 spoils in the sun, uh, kill enemies to earn food, and also storm cycles. Do not lose Uncle Butter. Hmm. Recruit all followers without dying. Huh. Okay. Join me, Uncle Butters. Hello. Go. Burn, burn. Yes, news me as a human distraction if I have to. Heal me, please. Over here, Butters. We need you to heal. I'm going to get everyone over here in this sandstorm. Heal up, lad. I need healing. Heal me. Burn them. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, to recruit 24 without them dying. I think these snakes would be very helpful. Need to heal up these guys as well. Heal up. I'm uncertain what this sandstorm does. I think it just makes it nighttime. 
We do seem to move faster though. Okay, we need you to heal up. Ah, there's water over here. Perfect. Over here. Heal, heal, heal. Sweet, you've healed. Nicely. Let's go. We need to recruit more men. There's more men over here, and you can also heal. Ah, look, okay, there's a base. Perfect. Destroy it immediately. Let's just move on. Uh, this way. We don't want Uncle Butters to die, because if we lose him, that's a great asset to our army gone. Oof, I lost. Oh, because I wasn't supposed to die. That's awkward. I forgot about that. If I survive a little bit longer, I mean... Oh, it's all good. I didn't realize I was not supposed to die. I forgot about that. Hola. No food at the moment. But I need to find out where at least everyone is. Ah! Save me, Uncle Butters! You're my only hope! Defeat this fool. Oh, so the sandstorm brings these guys out from hiding. Because these are nocturnal fighters. Yes, we have gained food. Glory! Heal, please. Heal up, lad. Good, good. Let's move up here as well, because it looks like these guys become very aggressive at night, so hiding up here would be helpful for a defensive position, because they can only come once at a time. The only downside is I can't really heal. So I need to find some water, which there is over here. Perfect. Ah! Eh. Heal. Leave us alone. Defeated him. How dare you! Hmm. Trying to get around this area is very difficult. Hmm, I don't like this. Ah, oh, God. Retreat! So yes, we're getting a good formation. When we're moving around as a nice group. Beating them all down when possible. The only downside is we're just losing a lot of our recruits faster than we can recruit them. So we need to get back into the water so we can heal up. The only downside is they just send so many at us. And with a lot of our poison we can beat them very fast, which is like this. Into the water. Into the water when I tell you to. Thank you. Alright, so let's move around a little bit. Yeah, a lot of fruit probably on top. Over here, destroy this. And probably over here. There's one over here, yes. How do I get over there? Oh, I see how to get over there, which is vexing. Uh, over here into this water to heal up. <laughs> burn, burn, burn. Oof, that was close. Please heal up, dude. We only had two health. Thank you. Let's move out a tiny bit. We're a bit full. If we all gang up on them all, we should hopefully be able to win. Which is the only downside is we haven't got many. The longer an I survive, the longer they recruit more men. See, they build more bases, which is vexing. Oh, this is not good. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh no, Mr. Butters have died. This is annoying. Ah, leave me alone. I got, I got nobody now. This is annoying. How am I supposed to survive this? Holy Jesus! Through this, I'm. Ah, oh, I lost. Great, man. This is a hard one because they just—you just can never get around it enough. 
I, I think I'm just getting really awkward ones where they're just like properly like mazes where I have no idea where I'm supposed to, like how to get around. Like it, already it's like a crazy maze. Hmm. <coughs> well, <coughs> I've tried a lot of time to try and do this mission and shit, I'm going to have to leave it for a little bit because it seems to be very challenging. A lot of times I'm having to really think really hard about where to get around. It's those maps in general in that area just seem to be like a, 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 a almost impossible mind like maze to get around and I'm trying to constantly try and get my head around it and yeah, I end up getting lost in it and it's awkward and yeah, so many things to focus on and it's really hard. Like man, these last missions are like really challengingly hard. Like it says to like recruit 32 men, but I'm finding, I always find it like difficult. I get to like 12 people to recruit and I'm like, I've discovered they're almost the entire map. Where are these people? And it's like 5 minutes and 10 minutes into the mission where it becomes like painstakingly difficult because they just send loads of waves at you and it's ridiculous so I'm there like how, how do I find them and one up so it's it's a bit crazy but yeah I'll come back and have another crack at it I've done one mission so it looks like I'm gonna be here for another four or five more episodes because it's about four missions per area and I think this might be the last one might be I'm not certain and yeah so yeah um yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next video and remember Stay classy, guys, and have a good old day to you. Bye!